Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with adding a plugin to QGIS. Um, it's this isn't a Python um, session. This isn't about Python. Um, it's it's just about the the basics, the high level of uh, just doing a sort of hello world, um, or actually in in um, honor of perseverance and ingenuity. I'm going to make a Hello Mars, let's think bigger than the world, Hello Mars um, little plugin that just displays a simple dialogue. So I'm using QGIS 318, as you can see. What I want to do is under the, the plugins menu here is I want to add something here. You see, like it's being done already uh, with a, a sort of sub menu that, that, that comes off it. Now, I'm using Python here. So um, and I'm on Windows, um, and and to get so that's a key element of all this. Is I'm using Python and, and I'm on Windows. Uh, but what what I will show you is is th th there's bits here that are applicable to you know Linux, um, but I'm not absolutely not going to be sort of diving into those. Um, but everything I show you will really definitely get you started um, with it. So so in fact, well, how do you start? Well, you may notice I've got this. Um, plugin called Plugin Builder. If you just look at your install plugins, um, there's this thing called Plugin Builder, uh, Plugin Builder 3, and th th this is just brilliant really to get you going. That's really the key part of this, this demo is just, just clarifying what this does and what it generates and then what you have to do. Um, because it doesn't do everything for you. There's a bit of compilation, there's something called P PB tools. Um, so there's a bit more than that, but th this is brilliant to get started and give you the template. That's the key thing, a plugin template. So, you, you know, so if I uninstalled it, um, where are it's that one, it's uninstall. Uh, so under all, just search for um, plugin um, builder. There we go. Plugin builder. Plugin builder three. Install. Okay, so let, let's let's get cracking. So let, let's say I've, I've briefly described what I want to do. So let's go to plugin builder. Let's um, run it. So I'm, I want to create this sort of menu structure here. You see, I want to sort of have my own thing there. It's, it's sort of going to say hello Mars or something. And here it's going to say display dialogue uh, of my design. So I'm going to click on that. So what's your um, sort of class name and um, all that sort of thing? So the class name is, is um, well, class name, um, and that's the um, sort of valid name uh, that will be displayed. Um, sorry, that's your um, valid Python class name. Uh, so let's um, call this, uh, well, let's call it. Hello Mars. Actually, let's, let's, let's put capitals in there. Why not? Because we can do. Uh, and then the plugin name. This, that's that's what appears um, in the plugins. So that's called Hello Mars. That's something readable. And my description. Um, this is better than Hello World. Okay. Exclamation mark. Um, and then the uh, module name, so the name of the actual .py file um, that will will um, uh, contain the code, the module. So that's um, and, and this is actually the main class uh, that, 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 that you'd have here. So that's hello Mars, just following the sort of standard with the underscore there. So that's the main main class, yeah, that in, in, in your in your plugin uh, version number, whatever minimum. Q I just uh, Q just num um, version that that's that's all fine by me. Author that's me, and email address that's info at gis .com. So that's some basic bits there. Uh, a lot of that will go into um, the metadata. So I provide a brief description. Yeah, okay. This is um, this is just a simple demo. Um, called Hello Mars. Um, that 
adds a menu and submenu to plugins. I'm not typing very well today. To plugins. Yeah. Menu. <laughs> there you go. Um, we'll just have a tool button and then bring up a dialogue, but there's a few others. Have a play. Um, could be to do with processing and stuff. Um, and uh, text for the menu item. So let, let, let's. Uh, so this is actually what appears on the um, uh, you, know, you know on the on the, the, the menu um, item itself. Let's just call it. I'll just call it Hello Mars. Uh, and now, which menu item do you want it to appear? You can change this, but obviously in the code, um, there's other things you could do here. You could create your own menu item at the end here um, and add it on. Um, but just to be sort of standard and straightforward, I'm going to click plugins, say next. Okay, so here is um, a, a few things here that uh, you, you you will you will need, especially when you're going to deploy and make it a sort of public plugin. You know, you want you want loads of um, stuff in there to help you out, especially you know things like internationalization. So just by default, I'm I'm going to keep it all checked, but you don't actually if you're just going to use this and do a bit of editing and you know the dialogue and calling inbuilt functions and stuff you may not you know you may you may not use unit tests i suppose probably not a good idea but um you may not use unit tests you may not have some help stuff um uh, you may not need make file um and in fact it may be just a plugin for yourself so you may not even need internationalization so but but i'm, I'm just going to show them uh, do them all tick them all so you can see what are the resultant sort of subfolders and what you get? The key one is PB Tool, for, as far as I'm concerned, because PB Tool is going to help us build. That's Plugin Builder tool. So that creates a config file. So I'll get to that in a second. Um, the, these are just uh, defaults, as if you're, um, you know, going to publish. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not not going to publish. So okay. Where, where, where are you going to um, put this? Well, this is the um, sort of crux of where your plugins directory is. If I just bring over my Windows Explorer, you can see that um, here I've got QGIS, QGIS3 profiles, and then default Python and plugins. So that's that's going to be your, um, uh, and that's in, um, you know, your username, app data, roaming, etc. It's in there. So you can see my ones that are currently loaded all, all listed here so let's just uh, um, move that back um, so all, all the ones that come under there you see will be um, plus of added buttons and, and things like that will be um, uh, displayed there. let's just bring back that so I'm, I'm actually going to put this straight into the plugins folder you, you might put it into some kind of dev area or something but I'm going to put it straight into here just to sort of keep things simple so I'm going to take that link and say um, generate. OK, so by default, that's true, actually. I, I haven't set the um, that, that, that Python uh, resource compiler uh, in, in the path, but I, I, will, I will show you um, how to sort of fix that. Uh, I left it in there. Uh, sort of deliberately so I can ju ju just chat about this and just just confirm what's going on there press OK um, so it gives you lots of nice info this is great you know where it's put the plug in um, and like I said you, you, would, you, you would really very much look at some kind of dev area rather than dumping it straight that's kind of like that, that's like dump straight into production really um, so um, uh, and uh, uh, that just confirms where your plugin directory is on my one. It recommends using PB Tool or Make. I'm going to go for PB Tool. That's what I'm going to show you. Uh, it's created a nicer icon, and it's this is um, a key bit. It's created a dialog, a window for you, to um, basically your your sort of primary interface there, uh, which you can use in Qt Designer, uh, which we will load. We will we will load. Uh, and then it talks about using PB tool, which we will, etc., uh, etc. Et the rest of it, don't worry about. Press OK. Can't really see anything happening. Let's go back to my plugin folder, and now you can see 
what's happened here. I think it's I think it's good to understand all this background stuff um, because then you really really know what's going on, um, and you could adapt it for your needs. Because I'm just doing a simple hello Mars thing here. So hello Mars, there it is you see, and look at all what it's created in here. So you can see the help. Yeah, it's got all the help stuff in there. The um, uh, that, 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 that's all the um, master documentation files and stuff. I'm, I'm not going to be uh, going into that. Internationalization. Okay, there's this sort of translation scripting and all that sort of thing. Um, again, I'm, I'm not going to dive into that in this. There's some scripts for Unix, for Linux. That's all yours. I'm not going to go into that. And unit testing um, uh, components as well to help you with that. Um, but again, I'm not going to dive into that. But you can see it's created these subfolders. The key stuff is all of this. Okay, it's all of this. So the the, the sort of primary bit here, this the init, is that that that's the file um, that needs to be contained in the main folder of each plugin, and it tells QGIS. Um, about the plugin, so I'll just I'll just very quickly. Uh, you, I, you can see I've got Idle here and stuff, and uh, because I installed ArcGIS, I've got Idle as well with Python. Let's just do it, do it quick. So there's this class factory interface all set up for you, and it says hello hello QGIS. Um, I've got this thing called Hello Mars. So that's the the primary bit that QGIS kicks off on, um, and then you've got your um, uh, all the sort of key stuff that, that, that Python programmers will, will, will recognize. I don't want to go uh, too much um, into this. That's for, for another day. Uh, but, but again, very, very, very quickly. Again, I'll, I'll just use Notepad++. Um, you can see all the source code that it's used to generate what I just clicked on. That's setting up um, various um, actions and, and, and what, what, what it's going to do. You see how I'm adding to the plugin menu, that sort of thing. But actually I could create my own menu. So this is great stuff to get to, to get cracking. But like, like I said, I'm not gonna really dive into the Python side. I'm not really a Python programmer, you know. Zero is no experience and 10 is um, ultra guru Python programmer. I'm probably on like a four. Um, and um, hence I'm not doing a Python um, lesson here. Um, so the, um, the 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 dialog bit here. So um, so sorry, yeah. So that hello Mars PUI. That's the main uh, class for my plugin. Uh, hello Mars dialog. Uh, that sort of defines the GUI widget um, for for our plugin, which com comes from Q dialog. Uh, and this is what we're going to open up in Qt Designer um, to do just a bit more. Uh, nice little graphic for our uh, tool. Uh, make file if you need it. Metadata. This is this is quite a sort of crucial thing because if, when you're going to upload, if you're going to upload and share, you need to have this properly sort of configured and written out. Uh, and I'll and I'll obviously put links to um to you know to where you get more info on that sort of thing in the description. Um, now PB Tool Config that tells PB Tool, i.e. the plugin um sort of builder. Basically, what to do, what to look for, and what to do. You see, because this is all raw Python, there's no cache, there's no um, compiled PYC anything uh, or anything here. You see, um, what we have PYs and and we've got a, a, a resources file here down down here as well. Um, so PB tool is that config is is vital for the for the compilation. Plugin upload is that's what it says. It helps you upload uh, the pylint stuff. So that, that, that's to, to do with with um, Coding standards, debugging, quality checking the code and stuff using Lint. Um, not in this video, but again, it's it's useful that it's generated. Good old readmes and like I said, the resources. You know what 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 actually is included in this? If we just let's open that again, you see it just says I've got this uh, icon PNG file. That's all I've got at the moment. It's a XML file. So okay, so that's what it's created, uh, but it's a um, it's not compiled and it's and it's quite sort of simple what it's going to do it's just going to display a dialogue but let's have a look at that dialogue what is it going to do see it's got ui at the end there so let's just let's just find qt designer okay so i just find qt designer it comes with qgis click on it <clears throat> 
and let me just bring it into this window. This is QT Designer. So what I'm going to do is um, actually I can I can just drag it in. I think yeah, there you go. So you see, it's got my Hello Mars dialog, and this is what it is. This is what it's um, created. So it's a sort of um, quite a familiar um, Windows um, uh, interface building tool. Uh, all the objects, properties, and stuff over here, and what you want to do. Um, and there's all these sort of um, there's the QGIS functions, action stuff, and standard um, things. So let, let's let's just um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just change it so you can I can sort of prove that it's changed sort of thing. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a um, let's drag this radio button onto there. Let's drag this checkbox onto there, and I don't know, how about some kind of, uh, how about a thump button? Uh, just, just for the sake of it. So there you can see, I've, I've made this new dial. I'm not gonna spend any more, have, have a play um, yourselves and, and see what's all there and, 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 and all the widget uh, controls, etc. Uh, I'm gonna save it, okay, hit save. So that's save, saved. Now let's quit. So I've got a little custom, um, dialogue there as you saw quite clearly okay so what do you do now well you've got to compile okay and and I'm, I'm going to use a bit of the command line here uh, just just to so it just makes it clearer but you, you could use idle for example but I'm just going to use this and um, gee, you could probably configure notepad plus plus come to think of it anyway um, yeah, so uh, as you can see, I'm in the folder um, of my plugins. Uh, let's just see that. I've got Hello Mars. So if I um, just py, um, look at Python, you see it comes up straight away. So I've got Python there, 3.85. I think um, I think that came with ArcGIS. Um, just quit that. Um, came with ArcGIS. But if you've installed, let me just get the link up if you've installed um, using OSGO um, your, your QGIS uh, and etc um, you, you get all the all the other uh, sort of other stuff the bundle um, uh, that's bundled with it which is uh, re really useful so you get Python and you, and um, you get the, the grass stuff um, or, or good old prog uh, the GDAL um, etc all the saga tools so you, you get a whole lot including Python so it's quite possible you could, you've ended up with, um, especially if you've got ArcGIS and you selected to install that, you, you, you may have two lots of Python or even more if you're keeping older versions. Uh, so, but just be careful with the path, yeah, in advanced system settings, control panel advanced system settings, and just make sure you set the path to the right sort of Python you want to use. Um, so I've just got Python set to um, my sort of, I don't think that's the latest one at time of recording. I think it's 3.9 at the moment, but the point is, um, it's um, uh, is pointing to a, a Python um, install, which is what I wanted. So, okay, we, we, we need to do some compilation. One of the things um, you will need to have on your machine is something called PB tool. Now there, there, are, there are a couple of ways you know, there's always more than one way with these sorts of things to compile and, and and to do what you need and make the plugin. But this is the way I I, I, I use and, and it works and I uh, don't have any problems with it. It's a good way. And um, and now and after you've done it once, it's um, it just 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 works. So one of the things you can use is pip, uh, the package manager for Python. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to go into sort of great detail on that. I'm hoping you know at least some bits of Python. Uh, but if you don't, you can effectively just run this tool, this um, this command pip, uh, and that'll install pbtool um, for you. Uh, you could probably just run pip actually. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm selecting um, pip itself to run from Python. Uh, I've already got this installed, so it'll probably, yeah, there it goes. Uh, oh yeah, I need to upgrade my, my package manager actually. It's a bit out, version 21. Ooh, I ought to do that really I'll do that um, and then the second uh, thing you need that it's all dependent on is this QT5 um, sort of 
four. <clears throat> so you run that one. So th these will be in description, PYQT5 AC. Um, these will be in description um, and uh, and you'll be, just be able to copy and paste. So just run that and and off, off it will go. So what is that really sort of telling you about effectively? What, 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 what's, what's going on there? Well, so this is my scripts folder in my Python um, 3.8 install. You can see I've got pip there, could I just run that? Um, but you can see it's got um, PB tool, uh, which you could run just with PBT, that's there now. And also if I scroll down there, you can see this P1, uh, this um, resource compiler as well. See, that, and that was where, you know, it was showing that up as an error previously. It's saying it couldn't find that because it wasn't in the path. Uh, but now actually it is in the path because it's in um, scripts, uh, which I've got a system um, path pointing to uh, a variable. Um, so I know it'll find it. So PB tool. So what I want to do is change to my PBT, uh, my Hello Mars directory, PBT compile. Okay. So you see it's compiled the QRC file. Uh, and let's just, if I just move that away, and let's just um, refresh this. Yep. Um, so what we've got is um, uh, a resources py. What does that all mean? Let's go to QGIS, go to plugins, manage and install plugins, look for Mars, go to Hello Mars, see, so I'm just under all, uh, click on Hello Mars, oh, there's my description, this is better than Hello World, of course it is. Uh, it's got a few bits of metadata there, uh, and press close. Go to go to plugins. Look, oh, hello Mars, hello Mars, and my radio button and my checkbox. Radio button, checkbox. My my or my font widget selector thing. So um, there you go. I've got a, uh, a, a hello Mars plugin running inside. Um, uh, we, inside um, QGIS 3, which we, we made you know pr pretty quick really, um, wasn't, wasn't too bad once you know. So the, so the key the key things about it, it about this is use the plugin builder builder to get you started and create that template. Let it generate all um, this stuff for you. Let, let, let it do it. And then you can go in and change, change the way the menu looks, change, and actually add functionality. Sorry, I haven't got any functionality apart from a dialog coming up. I mean, the OK and cancel button works, um, but that's it. And then once once you've got this done, then you can build your interfaces with QT Designer, just as I did. Uh, make sure you, you pip, um, you, you've got PB tool installed and the um, Python QT5 support stuff. Um, so you can compile resources. Once you've done that and it's it's there, uh, then off you go. And look, it's got the uh, cache there now with the compiled PYCs as I've run it and loaded it and stuff. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Um, and uh, I'll probably be, uh, do another one of these to um, to actually create a little plugin that actually does something. Thanks very much.